I think I'm good with East 3. So let's start our timer and let's hit start and we'll watch the intro. This is our last East game on the console that we're doing for this project. This is game 193, isn't it? Nope. Think back to your worst nightmare. The feeling of dark isolation and helplessness. The feeling that an evil force controlled your destiny. Perhaps we can compare these emotions with the terror that enclosed the people of Kenai. Their peace had been shattered by the domination of an evil demon named Demonicus. His long arms of decimation swept over the lands and burned all life in an inferno of slaughter and destruction. Wandering from Salsetta? Yeah. Yet even the worst nightmares offer some hope for survival. Kanai's fortunes lay in this stunning warrior of Shout out to Beth. strength. There he is. His bravery was renowned throughout the land, <laughs> as he had once saved an entire world from similar destruction. But now his challenge was greater than ever before. The insurmountable ferocity of Demonicus was frightening even to our career. No, it's Adol. The game said it. But a real man never shows. But it's his really Beth. And Adol was, in fact, a most gallant soul. Hey, he battled Demonicus with equal intensity in this horrific struggle to the death. The skies had darkened, and the earth shook as Demonicus applied his brutal force and displayed his savage rage. There were to be no prisoners in this holy war of good over evil. Demonicus unleashed his awesome size and strength against our hero, but Adol's cunning wit allowed him to avoid and eclipse all hey, of thank the Adol's fatal blows. There was more than just a miracle behind this savior of tormented <laughs> lands. Who could fight such courageous battles and manage to pull victory from such impossible odds? Who was this strange raider of evil foes? His legend and the legend of this land are about to be retold. There it is. Here's the adventure our, our... is in the spirit of the warrior. And the warrior is you. The warrior Go is now, you. Adol and seek out these dark forces that oppress and terrorize the innocent lives of Kenai. Almost three years have passed since Adol rescued the land of East from the Dark One. Adol and his courageous companion Doki were wandering the lands in search of adventure. So I'm, I'm gonna do my best not to speedrun this game. <laughs> What an interesting concept that'll be. One day they happen to hear a rumor about Doki's hometown. Salsetta didn't happen yet. Oh, yes it did. Why do I keep getting that backwards? They were told of a searing heat that had burned the prosperous fields of Kenai. <laughs> yes! <laughs> The town had been infiltrated by gangs of dark and eerie goons. What is going on? What? None of this plot makes sense. As Adol listened to these atrocities, his blood raged and his adrenaline flowed. Adol's next adventure was upon him. I think that means go. Yep. East 3. <laughs> I don't know if I've watched this opening. Hey, Adolf! Smell that fresh sea breeze? The ship is in top shape. We're ready to shove off. Wink. Jeff, he doesn't appear in this game.
anime intro? Oh, baby. Well, that ending of that game was Dogi and Adol getting on a boat and him saying, let me tell you about my hometown. I've never watched this intro. did it. We wandered all the way here. Long time no see, Jetai. It's me, Dogi. Ten years have passed since I left this town. Dogi Bell, I'll be. You were just a kid last time I saw you. How you grown? So we're gonna talk to people, we're gonna do things, we're not gonna take the speedrun route all the way through. You've probably played the SNES game, Tartini, or the Genesis one. So this is your hometown. This is Adol. We've been traveling together for the last two years. We've heard that terrible things have been happening around Serena. What's been going on? Or you played the remake, Tartini. We had a poor harvest and violent monsters are everywhere. They're, they are frightening. There are frightening events occurring. It would really make the town feel better, you know, to know that you are back. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go. I still don't have to control the video game yet. It's very, um, like this is the Zelda 2 of the East franchise. Well, what do you think? Do you like my town? Excuse me. Hey, why don't you look where you're going? Say, aren't you Dogi? Elena? I barely recognized you. Dogi, you haven't changed a bit. Very funny, Elena. Tell me, how's your brother, Chester? I haven't seen him in the last few months. I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry. After so many years, we finally meet again, and now you've got to run? Adel, I'm going ahead to the inn. See you later. <laughs> I think Jumbo won this one. Good to see you. Alright, let's save our game. Doo -doo -doo. We're gonna talk to people. Poor Mayor Grady, he seems so worried. Oh wait, no one's in this house, because Mayor Grady's not here. Grandma Ada won't come out of her house since her son Roy died in a mining accident. Keep that in mind. Please leave me alone. Talking to a nice young man like you reminds me of my late son Roy. Yeah, is the sky okay? I think I heard someone say. This town can't survive without the Tigre mine. If the monsters control it, we're ruined. Alright, so we're buying an herb. And that's it in here. I will be taking speedrun strats, just... I've seen many people from Valestine Castle around here these days. It's like they're spying on us. Fire sword. No, 
No, I want to talk. I've never seen you before. Are you a traveler? And there's Adol talking for some reason. He's come back to warn us about Tigre Mine. The monsters came out of nowhere. Monsters? They came out of nowhere. Mayor Grady is still trapped in the mine. Someone must rescue him. Who are you? Mayor Grady is trapped. Really? I'll go. A miner called Harvey already went to look for Grady, but we haven't heard from him since he entered the mine. Hey, Ninja. Uh, I've never played the SNES version enough to know if they cut out Chester. Two Grey Mine, let's go. We played the NES version um, last week. And we played, uh, I've played this one like 20 times. Alright, so we are in said mine. Yeah, the SNES version is real weird. Like, the sword hitbox is broken in the SNES one. It's like facing the wrong way. Yeah, Chester doesn't show up as a boss and kill Felgana. He still says some threatening things in the meantime, though. I don't have a, I don't have splits open. I don't need to split or anything. I know it's not going to be like a good time. We are going to save a lot though, because we do need to save. You never even made it this far? I do not blame you, honestly. I played the SNES version as a kid a little bit. I didn't made it this far either. I just know the SNES version is so different. There's Roy's pendant. The kid who died in the mine. Here's some quality voice acting. Who are you? Get out of here! Immediately! What's going on here? Where's Grady? Move! Punk! Oh. <laughs> get punched six feet in the air! Are you alright? I'll be okay. Who was that guy? Mayor Grady is still in there somewhere. I tried to find him, but the mine is too big. Take this key to the storehouse, where you will find a hidden sword. Hurry! Only you can help the mayor. Alright, so we got the storehouse key. Keep in mind we didn't buy armor. We just have a sword. Go back to the main cave and seek the room up to the right. These bugs, these green ones, these things will, these things will mess you up real fast. It is unreal how much damage they do.
Also, the Turbo Graphics version has weird, weird paths to do things. Like, this is a required jump. Alright, let's save the game. If you wanted to say you beat SNES East 3, I feel that. Alright, let's do this. This is legitimately the hardest boss in the game. Especially when he doesn't come to you! There he goes. It's a little loud. You got it. Wow, it's really loud! I'm so sorry! Rishari! What's up, buddy? I'm gonna turn that up a little. I put it down too much. How's it going, friend? What's up, everybody coming over from Rishari's scream? Sh scream? Stream? Nope, don't put the ring on. Put the long sword on and save. How are you doing today? What were you playing today? <clears throat> and I need to ask you if you played World Sports Competition. Yo, what's up, Golden Unicorn? Yeah, I took like a week off, basically, for marathons and stuff. But I am back on my regular full-time schedule. Working on Prince of Persia, are you going to specifically get the good ending in Prince of Persia, or are you uh, only just going to get through it once and get an, get, get an ending? Oh! Okay, cool. Enjoy. I think, uh... Yeah, okay, so you're just gonna beat it. Like, you don't have to make the timer. But there are different endings behind it. Then you'll get the good ending. I recommend going for it. It's a lot more rewarding of a game. There are just no enemies. I needed to ask you, have you played World Sports Competition in your thing yet? Because that game's bananas. It's absolutely bananas. Okay, I need to know when you play it. No, I forgot to jump. You say that. <laughs> there we go. And now we've got our statue. And now you've got more voice acting. Grady, from now on you'd better mind your own business. You don't understand the power you're dealing with. Mm. It will destroy everybody, not just us, but you too. Think man. Are you still here? Are you still here? I Excellent vertical leap, Chester. Came to rescue you. I'm sorry that you're in danger because of me. Let's leave this pit, my boy. My leg. Could you help me walk? Adol, my boy, Christensen. Harvey, what will we do if the mine has been destroyed? Oh, Mayor Brady. I don't know. Your name is Ado. Thank you for saving the mayor. Go now. 
The villagers must be told that he is safe. Ain't all my boy. I'm open so with five as well. I like this version more than Falgana, but that's just me. It's weird and I really like it a lot. Hey doll, you're back! Dogi must see you. Walk tall. I've never seen you before. Are you okay, these people are just saying the same things. Dogi. Mayor Grady is in home. Oh, this is the wrong house. Ninja Guide and PC scrolling. Oh, baby. Yes, it is. That pendant. It was Roy's. So you're the one who went to help the miners. Here, take this ring for your kindness. Now we've got a shield ring. Honestly, I don't know the difference between the CD systems. Adel, you came just in time. There's something I'd like you to do. But first, Elena, could you tell us your story again? I'm afraid to tell this to someone I've just met. But if you trust him, this is about my brother, Chester. It has been half a year since he left Serena. It looks like he's working for King Maguire. I've heard bad rumors about Chester. They say he's been around Alcano Ruins. I found my brother's pendant near the entrance, so I know he's been there. This might not have anything to do with Elena's story, but a priest named Pierre went to Alcano Ruins yesterday and hasn't returned. Adel, I'd like you to go to the ruins and look for Pierre. I'm concerned about the safety of the village. If you see Chester, tell him that his sister Elena is very worried. Oh, I've forgotten to introduce myself. I'm Elena Studart. It's nice to meet you, Adolf. But I'm sorry to burden you with my problems. Watch your step in there. It's a furnace. I hope the priest can be trusted. Not in Felgana. Five is laughably easy. There was five expert. All right, ring power. And we didn't use our herb, so we're good. Did we use our, we did use our herb on the boss. Okay, the first one, the hardest boss in the game. Herb, let's go. Armor, chainmail, yes. Let me remember to put it on, unlike sometimes. Oh, the wrong way parallax, and this is very strong. Alcano rune, y'all. Home of one volcano. And let's just put that shield ring on. No, 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 not this room. No shield ring in here. Oh, damage is not nice. That's fine. A jamming cat. I love this music. I love this game so much. This is, uh, spoilers, it's getting a 10. <laughs> Do, 
<laughs> oh, that hit me a lot. Um, let's put the herb on and everything. Cat's East Guru. You know it. No, 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 no. That's a really deadly mistake. All of them? That's amazing. There's a shield down there. A shield we're not using. Adol hears some men talking from the altar below. I must have lost my way! Brother Pierre, you must tell me what you want here. I seem to have lost my way. No need to lie, good brother. You're looking for the statue, aren't you? What the? I think I heard someone up there. You! You were the swordsman I saw in the Tigray mine. Didn't I warn you not to show your face around here? Chester never said anything about Alcana runes. He yelled at me to get out of the mine. Yeah, the best line in the game is coming. That delivery. Mm. Mm. How do you know my name? So you have talked with Elena. Well, it's my life. What I do has nothing to do with you or Elena. Now, goodbye forever. The fable Chester kick and punch. I'm just gonna preemptively go ahead and that. One of these days, I'm going to accomplish that run without saving. And it's going to be awesome. And that's gonna be like a one, uh, like a 120. Alright, let's put the herb on just in case. Also, the way Adol's swing cycle goes, you're not guaranteed to hit these things before they can get to you. No, you can't just walk into stuff. That hurts a lot. Yeah! Woo, that was bad. Spicy. Okay, equip and power ring. What a boss! Apparently you can just walk into enemies, sometimes. Okay, let's put the shield ring on and save. Hey Tanukatsune, thank you so much for watching and you have a lovely night. Thank you. People don't understand how bad this room is when you're going the other way. That off. Save again. Do -do -do. Oh, 
That was probably my best, uh... This has probably been my best Alcano Runes I've ever done. I think I might actually be getting good at this game. Finally. And yeah, Jeff, <laughs> the Varia suit. One day we'll get it. I feel you. I think uh, the designer did admit that he uh, basically took the noise. How did we go from that number to that number? We added CD stuff. Basically. I got the Super SD system and I uh, finally had gotten enough uh, CD files local that I could feel good about putting it on the list and make the list bigger. Trin's got the right idea. This is going really well so far. Famous last words. Oh, if we jump around these, then they almost always are higher than... Oh, gosh! So many rolls. What is this, memories? Oh yeah, we bring the item there and it uh, hardens. In Felgani, you get an item to wait in the lava instead. <laughs> up there. That was spicy. I'm glad to see you're safe. What are you doing here? It's dangerous. Quick, hide. Also, Adol is 19 years old in this game. I want you to pay attention to this dialogue. Well, be more careful. Tell me, Chester, what will you do about Brother Pierre? He seems to be on to us, so I'm going to lock him up in the dungeon of Valestine Castle. Mr. Merlin! Yes? The fire dragon Girin has been slain! What? I'll be there immediately! I don't see how that little boy can give you such a hard time. I'm very sorry. That little boy that is the same age, if not older than you. It seems like they've gone. I don't know, but it gives <laughs> me the creep. Also, hey, Jackie. What's that in the dark? What could this be? It could be some kind of mechanism. I think this is the way to find the statue. I remember a story my brother used to tell me. He would talk of a flying monster that lived in Alcano ruins. A monster that guarded a magical statue. Hmm. Why? I am the one who brought you here. I can't let you face this danger alone. Elena, 100% ready to fight this dragon. Thank you. All right, but... Like... Adol, be careful. I don't know what Elena thinks she's doing in this video game. But she's constantly ready to throw herself into danger in situations she cannot handle.
All right, dragon time. Just get right here. Too low, too low. There we go. Right here, jump back up. And we've got a, a defeated dragon. I promise speedrun strats, but not speedrun routes. Like I'm not, I'm talking to villagers and stuff. This is with rapid fire jumping on. Chester wants to fight. There's he's strutting. Chester, no! Elena, what are you doing here? I asked Dagle to stop you from doing any more harm. Please stop. Why are those statues so important to you? It's my duty. I must get revenge. Surely you remember what happened that day. Adolf. Just leave me alone. I don't want to fight. Chester no longer wants to fight. He is strutting away. I don't think it does. Let's go back to the village, Adolf. I must go. Adolf, please forgive my brother. She just wanders off to wherever she's going. Dogie's leaving. I climb Mount Seko. I seek my old spiritual master who lives there. I could be gone a long time. Adolf, Mayor Grady gave me a message for you. He must see you. It's urgent. His house is beside the inn. Do, 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 do. All right. Let's go get a refresh here. Charge our ring. And buy an herb. You have to dance to the music. Adol, my boy. Adol, my boy. I'm glad you have come. Look what has happened, youngin. Someone broke in while I was gone. They sure made a mess of my home, but nothing is missing. I think they were thugs from Valestine Castle. They are after the statue you found in Tigre Mine, my boy. And for some reason, they thought I had it. If the statue has something to do with all the creatures that have been roaming around lately, then you will be in danger. But we still need your help. You are a great swordsman. And I will put the trust of the entire town in you. What do you say, youngin? Are you game? We're gonna see what happens when we say no. Look here, youngin. I need your help. Please try and help save the town from certain death. Look here, youngin. <laughs> I need your help. Please try and help save the town from certain death. That's the spirit, Adel, my boy. Here's the first thing I would like you to do. You remember the locked door <laughs> you found in the mine? Well, it stays locked, because beyond it are pits with many fierce monsters. I've heard old stories about that place, and they say another statue rests somewhere inside. I've already sent a party of miners there, my boy. And I would like you to join them in a search for the magic statue. Here, take this with you, youngin. I hope.
hope you will find it useful. I need to record a, or not record, take a note of how many times my boy is said and make like I'm donating $5 per my boy or something. Da -da -da -da. But by God, if you take it, I'm coming for you. Youngin's is definitely a good one there too. Dollar per youngin. Let's go to Tigre again. Go to the forbidden door. You gotta remember, just don't fight these things anymore. Great, he asked me to come here. Are the others already inside? There's creatures lurking in the rooms. Be ready. We are ready for creatures. Alright, so I do need to be super careful in here. Look at these things. You ready for how much damage they deal to you? It's not good. It's not good. How dare you save me without the books of East? That's amazing. I can't imagine, what's that, uh, Fina or, which one's Lair? What did she get renamed, or what did her rename go to? I think that's Fina. Rhea, okay. I don't remember which one's which. So I'm going to wait for this thing to go away. I'm too smart to get hit by these. Oh, that hit me real hard. Let's not, uh, let's not ever say that phrase again. Alright, we'll even take this cutscene. This chest won't open, but it doesn't seem to have any lock. We got the tablet. This chest. I think it's awfully weird. What is that noise? We don't get this cutscene in the speedrun, so... This must be the legendary curse. What curse? What legend? Show me the tablet that was in that chest. The legend is this. A devil called Demanicus once reigned over this land. All who opposed him were exterminated. One young man was skillful enough to rise above the chaos and seal away Demanicus by using the power of the statue. But Demanicus never died. He lives on, even now. I never imagined he could return. I like how Demanicus I'll have to check that out in a minute. I am healing before this boss, it looks like. I'm curious.
It's me, Lair. I allowed myself to be caught because there is something I want to tell you. However, you have not collected the five books from the treasure boxes. How dare you approach me without the books? <laughs> How dare you? Crow murdering simulator. We didn't kill a single crow. I'll have you know. We have gone too far down. Equip. Ring on. Save game. I already have a bunch of items, right? Come on, get in there. Alright, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Zana na na na. Yeah, it's weird. I really wish I could do better with it and speed it up, but that just seems to be the only way to really do this. We have a light statue. Jumps are weird. It does allow people to hear the guitar solo and that should make everyone happy. I love how you can just hold down in this one. And in the other versions, you need to do a full swing before you'll hold your sword directly downwards. Now let's go back to town. You're safe, I was worried. Let's get out of here. Hurry and take the statue to Marigrady. I don't think I can afford the, uh, the thing I need to buy. We'll find out. We need to rebuy the herb. We need a mirror. We got this. I might be able to afford the shield. Six thousand. Oh, yeah, we're more than fine. Do, 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 do. 
You can make a Broja Serum. That's good. I don't need it yet. Fine, herb. I... that wasn't great. Shield. Need the shield. Grady, you must join forces with us. Everything will be ours once we make him return. Because I am a kind man, I will include you. I promise you that if you give us the statue, half of the world will be your kingdom. Doesn't that tempt you? You must be kidding. Listen to yourself, man. And you call yourself a king? Too bad, Grady. I was sure you could be a powerful leader. But now you dare to oppose me. We will have the statue. If you refuse to cooperate, your villagers will be held responsible. Check out this punch. Clear out of my way! Pow! Well now, that was King Maguire of Valestine Castle, my boy. The king himself has finally come to threaten me. I'd better tell you everything, Adel. This is becoming very serious. Listen carefully. An evil being called Demanicus once dominated this land. He was locked away by a brave warrior. Now, King Maguire is trying to unleash Demanicus and use his evil power to conquer neighboring lands. You possess three of the four statues once used no. to put Demanicus away. King Maguire worried that you will find the fourth statue and banish Demanicus once again. To the north on Mont Seco lives an old hermit. He knows many legends and maybe more about the statues. I'm sorry to get you involved in this, my boy, but with this injured leg, well, you see how it is. Take this letter <laughs> to the hermit. He may help you. Good you know how it'd be. No one says Adol correctly. At all. I forgot he gave us a letter. Like, why do we need this letter? <clears throat> I know he says to take it to Mount Seco, but... Like, what? Uh, okay. Alright. Save. The Mountains of Evil can be very bad. Now let's put the Power Ring on. Specifically for these things. This is my safest hex trap. Power ring off. Mirror on. Save. No cats. Woo! Okay. Let's go, let's go. So what the mirror does is freeze all the enemies on the screen for a certain amount of time. Oh, we did it. First try. And you can use the mirror three times before it runs out of charges. Adel, how did you get here? Dogi, is this your companion, Adel? It is fate that we meet now. Come in, my children. They are pretty soft. Come the future. I see. Those from Valestine Castle are seeking the ancient statues. I know one of the statues is hidden here in the caverns of Mount Seco. Legend says it is protected by a powerful force. 
It is said that the beast which dwells atop these mountains holds powerful magic. A talisman to help enter the cavern. Edo, my child, you are unprepared. Carry this sword with you into battle. Now we've got a cool sword and a heal. And Dogie's gonna ask us if we're sure. Walk easy, Dogie. Walk easy. Anyway, now we're super underleveled for where we are. So we'll, we'll make up that gap a little bit. Please do not get stabbed. Wow! Whoa! 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 Video game. Let's talk about this. Jeez. good. I think my favorite actor in this game is Chester, though. Like, far and away. James McCloud? Heck yeah. Oh, I was thinking of Star Fox McCloud. Completely forgetting what Star Fox's father is named. Am I getting my Star Fox mixed up? James McCloud, but a different James McCloud. Okay. Old Jimmy McCloud. This is a much safer strat. Just jumping and doing down stabs this is way better. Jimothy McCloud. Jim Jam McCloud. Bummer. Uh, one more loop. There we go, we should be good. The whole point of stopping here is uh, in 19, a little bit over 19.5, is that you'll kill a few enemies on the way to the boss, and that'll level you before you get to the boss. We should play PCE East 3 at some point. Just for the experience. Forget if this is the door. Nope, there's more. I like that jumping grind though. It's way better. I assume it is, but I'd like to hear the acting. I have a better strat for these things now. Downstab. Just try to get slightly above it and downstab it. It dies so much faster. It's spicy though. It's a dangerous strat. Okay, 
equipment ring off. It's like pitch black outside. Check that out. I'll say like the the voice actors in East One are like a Hollywood cast, right? Well, the East One and Two for the PC uh, Turbo Graphics. I'm gonna put a shield ring on. Save the game. have a heal, so we can do this. Equipment, spring, that. Okay. Yeah, they're bad. Just use that. inside the dragon's hitbox! Sometimes this fight gets so weird. We are victims of the curse of Demanicus. Now we are trapped down here together. I've been wanting to ask you why we're doing Kim Gore's dirty work. All right, I'll tell you. A year ago, everyone in my village died. Murdered by that king. Right before my eyes, my friends, neighbors, and parents were butchered. One after another. My sister Elena and I were the only survivors. I started working at Bellastine Castle. I was planning to avenge my people when I discovered the plans to re-invoke the curse of Demanicus. King McGuire underestimates the power of the curse. It can destroy Valestine Castle itself. And when it does, I will have my revenge. <laughs> they will be destroyed by their own ambitions. Chester doesn't think for a second about like, oh, I'll just summon the evil demon. Hey, did you hear something? Dobie the Wall Crusher coming in. Adel, I've come to rescue you. Chester, is that really you? It's me, Dogi. Dogi? Chester, you've changed. Ten years ago, you were a man with many dreams. You used to tell me how you were going to make the land of Kenai the greatest in the world. And now look at you. I want you to stop working for King Maguire and Valestine Castle, Chester. Then maybe things will be like they used to be between us. Doggy, <laughs> forgive me. I hope you like your unstabbed doggy. Master, thank you for everything. Be at peace, doggy. Remember me and return when you are in these lands. Well, Adel, 
We must leave these cursed mountains. I like how he calls them cursed mountains in front of the one dude who lives on them. And like it's his home. Jedi, what happened? The town was attacked. All the villagers have been taken hostage. They're being held in Palestine Castle. What? Adel, only you can help them. Go, rescue the villagers. But take this ring with you. It is a parting gift from our master. Come back and see me anytime. Alright, Adel, let's leave. This place sucks. Alright. What do we do? Ring power, recharge. Herb. Ambrosia. We use the herb, right? Yep. And item. Amulet. That's fair, they're pretty cursed. They are called the Mountains of Evil. So I guess there's that. This time I'm afraid King Maguire is serious. He says that if we don't give him the statues, he will kill all of the villagers. Adel, my boy, you fought very hard for this village, but as mayor, I have to make sure the people are safe. I have to ask you to give the statues to King Maguire, so that the villagers will be spared. You can fight him later. Hey Z. How are you doing? You are a brave man, youngin. I youngin. trust your decision. Please try your hardest. Hazy. <laughs> hey there. Oof, I feel you. Okay. Well, please feel free to get comfy. We got room for you on the couch. I need to get a couch installed in this stream. All right. Off to Valstein. I hope you like good music. I hope you like Elena insisting on coming along again. Serena was attacked by the soldiers from this castle. If I could find my brother, I could plead for the villagers' lives. Hey, it's dangerous in there. Don't come inside. Okay, cool. No problem. These things. I hate these things. <laughs> ah! Spacing! Alright, so this place is terrible. It's the most dangerous area in the game. The, uh, the grayish, greenish knights, those guys you can kill pretty easily. The white ones do not try to fight. They will one or two shot you. And with the gray ones, you really... You really just don't need to do anything other than just swing the sword. It helps if you're not moving, though. Come on, get out. And then if you can scroll them off the screen, they're gone forever. Well, unless you, like, scroll them back on. I've really gotten better at this place lately. This used to be like deaths all the time. Ah, uh, they are fixed. Also, hey Carlon, how we doing? Good to see you. This is the room yep, where you just immediately rush off to the left because people are gonna spawn in right away. 
I'm doing fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. We've got the best shield in the game. Theoretically not doing a speedrun right now. I'm just kind of playing the game, but, you know, speedrun strats happen. Oh! Revenge. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is the boss door. Okay, let's go. Put the ring on, put the herb. Let's not put the herb on. I don't want to be tempted to use the herb. We should be saving the herb for uh, anything else. Ow. Two. You know what? Maybe I should just use the herb here. Maybe this is like the trick that I'm not failing at. But it's such an, a boss fight that you can do so easily. I just gotta get the spacing down. Two. Two. One, two. Speed on the laundry, driving. <laughs> Um, I don't think I've ever speed ran driving, but, uh, laundry, yeah, sure. I mean, that's a timer. I can't do that any faster than normal. If you fold laundry, that's kind of fun. That could be a speed run strat. All right, so we saved our herb. Typically what happens is I get so caught up trying to save the herb that I just don't end up using one in Valestine Castle. Not folding the laundry is the strat. Keep it in mind. Whee! Hey, Uno Squid! What's up, homie? Ah! Okay, herb it is. Definitely. Maybe we can get away from using the herb. Maybe we don't have to use the herb. It's there if we need it. These three is going really well. Thank you. I am officially not doing a speed run with this. This is my playthrough for the project, so I'm talking to extra NPCs and stuff. But it, in terms of execution, it's going really well in terms of executing things. I should really like sit down and grind this down and try to do a run without saving. And I think that would be uh, pretty rad. Like, if I can get away with saving every 10 seconds, I'll probably cut 10 minutes out. Casually, though, we're doing this. We're getting all the things. Throwing it in the basket count as a quick folding, yes. As a ball store. Yeah, it's super dangerous. Alright, we'll put the herb on. Because this thing can absolutely demolish us. So Doggo, you want to put a certain distance between you and his starting his run? So, when he jumps is kind of based off of like how far he's run, what frame of animation he seems to be in. So you kind of want to be him, like have his head just off screen, or just on screen, and usually he'll jump right over you. If you screw that up, he'll jump into you, which is less ideal. And then you just mostly, like this might hurt. Nope, I'm good. So I am lining up the the screen with the dog's head before he starts running. And then just do the upwards down stab to uh, to get some damage as he runs by you. Woo! 
What's nice about Valestine Castle is there's four bosses in here, and you heal after each one, and they're pretty rapid. That was a good doggo. That was a good, good doggo. There's only one boss in the game that you don't heal after, and I don't understand why. Troubles you gave Chester. Take me to King Maguire. But who needs King Maguire? Step back. Truly, who needs King Maguire? It's so good, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Let's follow him. Well, obviously. Maybe you're right. It's too easy. Hmm. Maybe it's a trap. Let's go. Turns out it's not really a trap, and I don't quite know why they didn't, uh, why they're showing us this. got really far left that time though. Alright, ring off, let's go. I really love this game. And I'll even talk to all the NPCs this time. I don't know why King McGuire put me in here. The fool I was a loyal soldier. Not now. This armband will help you fight him. This is, uh, this opens the door to the clock tower, basically. Don't worry about the villagers, I'll set them free. His brother Pierre. Mayor Grady and I are planning to overthrow King McGuire. We misjudged his power. Imagine a priest in this pit. And then here's Roy! You came just in time! We miners knew that the king set up a mine on the blah, blah, blah. He improvised us to keep his secret. He imprisoned us to keep his evil secret. So that's Roy. Everyone thinks he's dead. And he's alive. And now everyone's happy because Roy's alive. 8 bit remix out of place. No, I feel you. That's Turbo CD in a nutshell. Jamming music inside games that really have 16 bit architecture. Welcome to these gold knights. Do not fight them. Don't do it. Woo! This is going poorly. It's okay, we got that herb still. Why did I just fall? That's the opposite of the right move. Yeah, they're very good. 
Not available till the 10th, and that's today. That is a good question, Poppy. And now we have the best sword in the game. So now we've got all the best gear in the video game. And now this really wonderful thing here. Ow. First try. Never in a marathon, always in practice. So now we can kill these guys, but they still have a ton of hit points. this out. Who would have thought? It's not like I don't have backups upon backups for these, uh, for the upcoming stuff. I'm also making an assumption that my backup strat would work. Like, just Protect Ring. It worked in the NES game. Or we could just dodge it and fight it legitimately, like I did the first time I played this. It was hell. Oh wait, no, we want to use the Brogia Serum. We absolutely want to spend that. Bad move up front. Don't run into him. Just don't run right into him. There we go. Let's see. Let him, let him just be upset. I've never seen that be so testy before. Just bad luck, I guess. I've defeated Merlin. I surrender, come in! I have been foolish. Why did I believe the words of Merlin? That devil! His only purpose was to return his master Demonicus to this world. Soon after Demonicus was revived, hideous monsters overran my beautiful castle. I am lost. My kingdom is falling into chaos and ruin. You must save me. The only hope left is in the power of the four statues. You must act quickly. Take them to the realm of Demonicus and seal him away with their power. Thank you for the follow. Here, take this idol. Its power will aid you Did my alert stop you point? to enter into the Weird. land of Demanicus. I 
am responsible for many evil acts. Now it's time to make up for my past and try to correct my errors. Can my people forgive me? <laughs> yes, the goblin statue. Adolf, I'm glad you are safe. Whosoever tries to interfere with my return will suffer dearly. Adol, how do you like this? Gotta say, not a fan. Don't worry. She is not dead. Yet. If you want her to live, bring the four statues to my domain. Now let's question our existence as a warrior. What am I fighting for? But not by my actions. It was Merlin and Chester. What am I fighting for? <laughs> what am I fighting for? I'm gonna turn that absorb ring off. Excuse me, I have more brooches here? Oh, let's eat that real quick. Thank you. What's wrong, Adel? Why the long face? You're a hero in these parts. Adel? Where is Elena? Where is she? Jogi, I've never felt this helpless in all my life. When Elena was taken by Demanicus, I could do nothing to save her, let alone challenge Demanicus. I am unsure of myself, Dogi. Am I ready? Am I strong enough? Adel, you're a fine warrior. Only the truly strongest of men know their own weaknesses. Adel, <laughs> Mayor Grady may be able to help you save Elena. This is easy. <laughs> What am I fighting? Alright, let's do some quick little adjustments. Healing herb. Brogia serum and uh, here. Amulet. I need to test something out. What am I fighting? Can I just go to Demonicus's without, um... No, okay, I need to hear the mayor's spiel first. Because, I mean, you can navigate the maze without the, uh, the flame thing. Adel, my boy, how can I thank you for all you've done? You had better give me those statues now. Your part is finished. <laughs> my boy what? plus one. Surely someone must go, but whoever goes may not return alive. You are still young. There are many things you haven't learned, my boy. <laughs> Grady, let Adel go. He is not just a drifter. Adel is an adventurer. I'm sure he knows his life may be in danger, but there are some things that a man just can't back away from. You should have faith in Adel. Adel, then take this with you. It will be helpful in your fight. Fire Jewel. In apparently the Genesis version, it's the Fire Jewel. J-E-W-A-L. He's an adventurer. Some guy with wings said so. I did notice at the end of Celseta, Eldiel calls you an adventurer. He's like, oh, I've got a title for someone like you. It's adventurer. And I'm like, they have the perfect opportunity to put wanderer in there. And then have it just be this cool tie-in to Wanderers. At least a nod. 
but they didn't. To go with adventure. Also, Eldil lives through Celseta, and that was surprising. Especially because he gets straight up murdered in, uh... Uh... Dawn. Parallax in the correct direction. I love Celseta a lot. It's a really cool game. It was fun to play Dawn before Celseta. I'll be honest about that. It was a really neat experience. I didn't like the equipment system. I kind of just didn't engage with like the crafting stuff at all. I kind of hated that, but you don't need to engage with it, which is fine. Also, shout out to this not being a teleport maze. What are my hopes for the upcoming East game? I don't know much about it. I know it's kind of open worldy, I think, is what I remember seeing. Yeah, I should play Mask of the Sun. In my opinion, uh, Dawn will always be a better game, because I'm pretty sure in Mask you don't go back to... Uh, you don't go back to the first, the tower from the first game, Darn Tower, which was amazing. Let's save the game because there's a boss in this door. Run in with no ring and get ready to put one on. Like I've not played East Eight. Come on. Absorb ring. There it is. Protect ring. Sorry. Stab, 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 stab. Downstab? Downstab's a way better option here, I think. Like, jump into it, do a downstab, and then upstab away. Okay, take the ring off. Don't put a bad shield on. Use all three hits of Brosia. And we didn't take any damage on the way here, so we're good. But uh, I didn't play E789, 6789, 678 yet. Uh, nine's not out, so I just still need to play six, seven, five, six, seven, and eight. I've beaten everything before that. Adolf, wait. I'm the one who caused this. You shouldn't die because of my foolishness. Well, I guess I'm not Mask of the Sun, but yeah. Eight looks interesting, yeah. Please stay away. Elena! Let Elena go! She has nothing to do with this! Take me instead! What I need are those statues that Adolf has. I don't need you. <laughs> Brother and past sister the dying together. What a nice image. All right, Edo. See what happens to those who oppose me. They slow now. I really want to know what Chester plans on doing here. Demonicus, prepare to die. Prepare to die. Avenge all those who died by your hand. Chester, don't. Why do you always turn to fighting? Why must there always be killing? Both you and Demanicus are living beings with emotions and feelings. Why? 
Elena, I know only too well. But this is the real world. If we don't kill him, he will kill us. If Demonicus is not killed, the human race may be destroyed. I hope you are finished with your goodbyes. Because now it is time to die. <laughs> Galvan is basically a robot. Yeah, Elena tries to play both sides, and I'm still, like, completely lost as to why she does this. Alright, we're good. Let's go fight our final boss. Get ready for his hot jams. You a taste of my true power. I'm so happy you're right, but Chester, where's Chester? Chester went to the center of the land of Demonicus. He is going to destroy all of it. No, Adolf, don't go. My brother says it's his fault, so he should be the one to deal with Demonicus. Adolf, please, of course I care. We lived together for more than 17 years. Not that we're family. I in my brother. <laughs> I have faith. He will return. There is one thing I have to tell you. There is a legend in these parts that a long time ago, a brave young man locked Demonicus away. The village that my brother and I were born in was founded by the descendants of this brave man. King McGuire feared that his plans to bring back Demonicus would be in danger as long as these descendants lived. That is why he destroyed our village. My brother is the only one left who knows the secret that will crush the world of Demonicus. If Demonicus is to be put away for good, my brother must go. It's all right, Adol, as long as you understand. I love how it's... Of course I care. We lived together for 17 years. Not, oh, he's my Adolf. brother. He's family. I care about him. No, we, we, we were roommates. And again, Elena saying, oh, my brother will come back one day. He does not come back. He might come back in East 9, I guess. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> East Chester's counterattack. Should we really leave so soon? Yes, it is best. Adel, I have some final things to do before we leave. Why don't you go on ahead? Let's talk to people. Go on ahead, I'll catch up with you when I'm done. 
Adolf, must you really leave us? What is it that I may do for you, my boy? You may ask anything. Oh ho, that's an easy promise. There will be a rich and beautiful city here for your return. Yeah. I dream of traveling the world and being like you. Maybe we'll get Roy in another game. What are you doing up so early? Not thank you for getting my grandson back to me. What are you doing in the morning? I'm sorry, Adel, but the shop doesn't open until 8. Not, oh, thanks for everything. Just, hey, it's not open. Go away. doing with all that luggage <clears throat> the blacksmith is not voiced until that line you are really leaving Adolf I wish you could stay where is Dogo? <laughs> aren't you leaving to what luggage <laughs> Elena are you sure you'll never meet another fellow like Adolf are you just going to let him go if I don't leave now, I won't be able to catch up with Adel. Well, Elena, this is goodbye. Elena says nothing. She's going. She's going. What is there for you out there? You should stay here with us. Without travel and adventure, my life is empty. I'm an adventurer at heart. I don't like to stay in one place for so long. I must be leaving, sir, Jetai. Endgame gear, the ring to defeat ultimate evil, and the heck off to Evil Town bracelet. Wait for me! Haven't you forgotten something? Adel! Are you sure you shouldn't say goodbye to Elena? Some of these voice lines feel like they recorded parts of the same sentence at different times. <laughs> they will need to find another boat to fall off of. <laughs> That's time. So thank you so much for the GG's about 10 minutes ago. It's anime time is the name of my last split. Anime time is here. Oh yeah, you'd think. I know my brother will come back to me. Well, the game's over. And Chester's never mentioned again. Probably. Now watch Adol. Turns around like no one has ever spoken to him before in his life. She's calling you. What are you going to do? Will Adol utter his first words? He waves. <laughs> Thank you. I'll never forget what you've done. Your bravery, your kindness, your inspiration. Someday, Adolf. Someday. I know that I'll be able to see you again. <sighs> Farewell, Adolf. Elena also never featured again, probably.
Who's ready for an overwrought speech on, like, a, on like, exploration and wandering? Elena does return. That's awesome. You don't need to tell me, Trin. I'd rather be surprised, honestly. I'll read this to you. To a mortal's eye, it would seem that Adol's journey has come to an end. But to the eye of an adventurer, one can see that Adol's travels have just begun. The world is too wide and its people too diverse to ever completely declare victory. A complete victory. It is in fact, it is, in fact, the precise desire to seek out new adventure and triumph, which keeps our hearts young and our spirits alive. I don't know why I'm tripping over the words this time. I basically almost have this dang thing memorized at this point. We only age when we become satisfied and complacent with the life of mortals. True inspiration comes from the ambition to live life to its fullest. Maybe it will be over after this line. So Adol continues on his march to experience and explore the ways of the world, to face all the challenges of good over evil, and to rid the common people of tyranny and exploitation. The NES version is also extremely good. As we learn each of life's lessons, we are more prepared for the next. And maybe that's the speech. Is it? Is that the end of the speech? <laughs> Just kidding, there's more. <laughs> Go now, Adol. Find your life's destiny in the spirit and freedom of a true adventurer. <laughs> it just keeps going. I had Railcoon narrate that part um, when I played this on Hotfix, and it was amazing. Uh... <laughs> Let's continue narration. Here's your lovely cast. Maybe it will keep going in the cast. Oh wow, Domanicus, Lyle Fisher, there's credits! Chester! Brian Partis. We need to bring Brian Partis back. I, I am in love with his voice acting. Dogie's master, who doesn't even get a name. Minor Harvey got a name, but not Dogie's master, who gave us a sword. Narration, William Ross. I love this video game, it's so good. Opening with a special thanks. Blacksmith goes uncredited. <laughs> we forgot he voiced things. Programmer, Zoku! Let's write up a quick review. The Zelda 2 of the East franchise. Perfect. Fantastic voice acting. Fun game. And a way better version than Tetsnes. Slash Genesis slash NES slash PS2. Slash MSX Cousins. Poor Elena. Dogie's voice actor also kind of... Well, Dogie's voice actor went on to do things. We said, like, he voiced uh, James McCloud in Star Fox. Not Star Fox. Um... What's that video game? 
F zero GX. I think y'all said. That game was super good. I'm really happy we got to play. Like, I'm so happy I got to play the East games in, uh, since I started this project. Like, I had heard of them. I played this one very briefly on the SNES and hated it. And when I, they finally got pulled, I just kind of realized they're an incredible game. I think, uh, three is probably my favorite. Four is probably second. Uh, one in, then one and two in that ish order, as far as the retro stuff goes. I'll probably play five on stream soon. I want to get that done. I know it's, I hear it's easy, but I don't care. I kind of just want to say I did it. And I'm considering playing six and seven on stream. Is that something people would watch? And eight, I guess if it comes down to it. It is a very underrated series. Like I don't understand how I slept on this. And they've really clicked with me in a really intense way, like way more than Final Fantasy ever have. That's it. We did it. Oh wait, we get the to be continued. Oh right, Elena is in the to be continued screen. I heard it's like six or something, maybe seven. All right, that's East. We did it, y'all. Stopping the timer. 152.13.